spotted turtle. Look at that thing. You're a little spotted. That's species number eight. Hey, this is actually a good frog. All right, it's early spring. I'm out here. I had to take the dog for a walk. She's got to lose some of that winter chub that's hanging out down there. Down there. It's not sunny. It's about 70 degrees. It feels great out here. I would have liked to have seen some sun today. It's been all clouds, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. We'll see how this works. So this is a local spot, and this is an old foundation, and this is a snake den where I've found some very interesting milk snakes. And it's in the middle of the woods. And it looks open now because there's nothing on the trees, but trust me, this is like a closed canopy with a little bit of openness right here. You can see the sun coming through here. I've gotten milks, ringnecks, garters, racers, and that's it. Well, milk's right. Yeah, that's it. Um, I think maybe I got one like baby water snake. There's a creek that runs down there. He'd probably just ended up here by accident in the rain one day. But anyway, we're gonna see if we can turn up anything here. Hopefully this is, turns into a video. So what I'm gonna do, and I have my, <laughs> my boots and shorts on, uh, cause I might go in the water. And I'm just gonna flip the rocks along these and then I'll flip down all along this, but you never know. Like I've gotten baby racers under here, ring necks, so you'll see a lot about red back salamanders, that sort of thing. But the prize here is a milk, and I would love to find a milk here because they can be really neat. And when you're flipping rocks, you always, there's a red back. That's an Eastern red back salamander. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. Anyway, as I was saying, you wanna move the rocks back because these animals do use these as homes and, you know, just for selfish reasons, you want to make sure you can still find some stuff under these. So I'm going to stop flipping without anything happening and I'll be back hopefully with a snake in hand soon. You got one? <laughs> Look at that thing. Did I tell you they're neat here or what? Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is my favorite snake to find around here. It's got an immaculate belly, nothing on it. Look at that head. I love that little coloration. And look at that belly. There are no blotches on that belly. <laughs> oh, yes. So this is an eastern milk snake. I'll stop geeking out for a minute. This is an eastern milk snake. It's Lampropeltus triangulum, triangulum. This guy will get to three and a half feet-ish. Probably around here anyway. And he'll probably brown out. But now it's absolutely stunning. And this is actually species number 55 for me for the year. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down and enjoy it so I can stop acting like such a nerd for a minute. So this is what I came here for. I really did not think I had a shot. Right, right there. Right there where my thumb is. I love it. What a cool snake. Bro, what are you doing? Let go. He like won't let go. There he is. All right, so we have our third book in the Fast Nature Young Reader series, Rattlesnake. This is now available at Amazon or BarnesandNoble.com. And this guy here, he's been enjoying it. After an extremely dry fall, we've had a really nice wet spring. And these vernal pools are really full. And I wanna try and see if I can flip a spotted salamander around here. All right, I love these, where they're on the edge. Let's see. Especially when they're up a little bit further. All right, this took some work. But we got one. Spotted salamander. I guess all it's gonna do is sit there. You have freedom, man, do it. See if I can give it a nudge. Go ahead. Go, man. What are you doing? There we go. It's kind of neat. So this is where this you can still still trying to hold on like these. Look who I have with me today. My youngest born. 
we're gonna see if we can find something pretty simple real quick she just got her first tattoos for her 18th birthday so we're letting the wrap stay on for a little while wasting some time just gonna see what we can turn up real quick here we go we got a spotted turtle in situ oh he's pretty so this is spotted turtle clemens gutata and this they actually are studying them at this site but this individual is a male because of the little concave plastron he's going to be shy but there's no notches this is a small adult it's got a little bit of a scar there i wonder what happened there but gorgeous individual no notches nobody's found this one yet that's studying them anyway young adult I was kind of hoping the toads would be calling. It looks like this guy probably was at some point. There we go. I'm going to see if we can set him off. There he goes. <laughs> Alright, we're going to leave this guy to his business. Alright, Lily's going to do the flipping. Ah, flip it this way. This way? Yeah. Get under that thing. And ah, nobody's home. Oh, there's a red back. I don't see them here too often. Okay. She's slipping it this way in case it's a racer and I gotta be the one to grab it. Nobody's home there. Okay. All right, let's get a snake under one of these. Well, uh, all right, one more. Uh, a bunch of ants. Okay. We tried. <laughs> there's a racer. Here, you wanna... Oh, so much for that. Should I try it? Go. Alright, this is what I like to see. We're going for amphibians tonight and we're going to see what we can find. The rain is starting, the sun is setting, the switch will be flicked and the amphibians will move. Okay, so we're gonna have another dark video because let me tell you, with a lot of herps, the nighttime is the right time. We're out here, it's almost purely dark. It's just these roads through agriculture right now, but we're gonna, you can see some trees up there. I'm gonna hit some like islands of habitat that have a lot of vernal pools and have a lot of wetlands and just ditches on the side of the road. You can see like a ditch over there that are great for amphibians down here. Let's see how many species I can find tonight. And hopefully the rain holds on for a while. I'm gonna go for 10 species on the road. We'll do the over under at 10.5. Put in the comments, am I gonna end up with 11 or more or nine or less? I'll tell you this much. You can probably get 13 to 14 amphibian species down here. And I could get lucky with like a small snake with all the rain and maybe washing something out of a burrow, maybe even a turtle, we'll see. So over under is 10.5, put it in the comments. Let's see how you do. We got our first herd popping here in front of somebody's house. Let's look. And it is a Fowler's turn. Oh man, it's raining hard out there. I'm gonna be soaked. I don't know. Oh, you can hear a chorus of peepers. And we have a little, that is a little bullfrog. American bullfrog. Maybe we'll get a bigger one. This is, this has gotta be last year's baby. So American bullfrog. So these roads are gonna absolutely be littered with amphibians. And I'll stop for all the new stuff, but then I'll just stop for like the showstopper species. And here's another one right away. All right, we got a little guy here. Let's see if it's a peeper or a New Jersey horse rock. It is spring peeper, species number three. Look at how small that thing is. They make all that noise. Okay, so I'm gonna shut the car off. I want you to hear this. Those are all those little spring peepers. That's how loud they are. When you're out in the middle of it, it is deafening. If you haven't yet, go to fascinature.live 
and sign up with your email address for my newsletter. You'll get updates on new videos, blog posts, projects that I'm working on, conservation stories, all delivered to your email. You can unsubscribe at any time. Please consider signing up. Fascinature.live. I haven't seen a salamander yet. Maybe we need some rain to get them out, but this is interesting. It is a rather odd that the frogs are all out and not the salamanders. So, hoping that changes soon. It should. Oh, where you go? Where you go? This looks like a female wood frog. Oh, this is hard with this rain. So that's species number four. And I can't operate my camera with it getting this wet. But we'll move her off the road. Okay, we have somebody cool here. So this is a gray tree frog. Such cool little species. But there's species number five. All frogs so far, we still need ourselves a salamander. Okay, so you see this habitat, these woods, there's gotta be some vernal pools in here somewhere. And I have a feeling we should find our first spotted salamander of the night before I'm out of these woods. I sure hope so. Hey, this is actually a good frog that I wasn't sure I'd get. So this is a pickerel frog. It looks like a leopard frog, but it's different. The ridges on the back are not as pronounced. And then I'm gonna attempt to show you something here. You see that yellow in the thigh? Leopard frogs do not have that. And I'm not hurting him, I'm hardly even holding him. He's just, you know, he can't get away. As you can see, there he goes. Let me just clarify, good frog meaning I don't see them down here too often. You find a decent creek in Piedmont or the mountains, you're gonna find tons of pickerel frogs. But it's something I don't see here often, so that's good Good species, we're up to six. All right, it's been an hour and a half, and I have not seen a salamander yet, and I have no freaking idea what's going on because it's raining like a banshee out here. Hey, I think we got a salamander. Some marble? We got a, we have a, a little marbled salamander. All right, we are on the board. There's two, well, there's three more here. Two more mole salamanders we can find. The rock star is a tiger, but I really expected to find hundreds of spotted tonight and I haven't seen a single one. So what is that, species number seven? We're getting there. Hey, all right. Got a little spotted. That's species number eight. And this is what I expected to see out here. This is what's mainly moving right now. So maybe things are starting to move. Okay, here we go. There's a leopard frog that got away. Oh, no, no, no. Ugh. They don't sit still. So I think that's nine. All right, so I think I have species 10 here. I do. A little cricket. Cricket frog. So now I'm just walking because I'm right next to a large vernal pool. And it's just easier to walk sometimes. Kyle and Ann are up there. The car coming. And look at this dude. He's booking it down here. This is why shit gets run over all the time. All right, yeah. All right, so I cheated and Kyle found this one for me, Kyle and Ann, a well, four-toed. I have no idea what the count's at. I need to slow down and figure this out. That's the little guy, it's our smallest salamander we have. So that's actually 11 species. We did it. Not a ton of salamanders on the road, but we did it, we got to 11. Let's see, uh, see if we can bump this number up. It's too cold, I am not dressed for this at all. There's a barred owl calling out here somewhere. I see a lot of them down here. Dude, she is big. Huge. Look at how fat she is. I touched her tail, she didn't even care. Wow, that's a sizable spotted. Right, here's a little newt crossing the road. 
But that is species number 12, I believe, for the night. And I'm still missing a few. Riding on Kyle's shoulders. Now we got a red back, decent red back, the normal phase. That's species 13. There you go. All right, it's not terribly exciting, but it is species number 14. It's probably gonna hop away, right? Okay. Green frog. This is such an odd night. I've gotten more marbles than spotted. Marbles are fall breeders. Like, what is happening? Until next time. Wait. <laughs> this is Lily Ferguson. <laughs> this is Lily Ferguson with Fashion Nature reminding you to stay. <laughs> reminding you to step out into the other. Take it. The step out into You got it. The step into the other. Yeah. Until next time, this is Lily Ferguson with Fashion Nature reminding you to step into the outdoors.